what's going on guys welcome back welcome back we are going to jump into season two the official season two um we just watched the prequel um which is gods of the arena just watched the the, the prequel of spartacus let's see the rise of the house of batiatus right we got to meet some great characters man from back in the day you know what i'm saying and now we're going to continue with the story from um season one um i know i've said this before but we all know by now as you guys spammed it ever since we started the series about the actor that you know had the actor that played spartacus had cancer and he died so you know, somebody had to reprise the role of Spartacus, take up that role, and here we are in season two. So maybe that's the reason why they did the prequel. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why they decided to do the prequel because they needed time to find someone to, to replace him and to do a very good job. You know, so who knows? It could have been, that would have been great if that was the decision, but I don't know. Maybe they had it all planned out all along to do the prequel who knows but in any case we are here and i'm ready to go back into the movement of what what is the aftermath of what happened at the house of batiatus with spartacus taking them out um it was spartacus and the rest and the rest of the gladiators taking them out taking matters into their own uh, taking down the house of batiatus because they were tired of everything all these this stuff just to make I imagine if batiatus would just would have just stayed and just played by the rules but not necessarily played by the rules that's a wrong terminology i'm using but basically just take it easy and just be lo just as how they're loyal to you be loyal to them and don't you get what i'm saying like the stuff that it kind of it kind of brings back into terms the things that his dad did versus what he did because his, I, i'm guessing his dad is the one that allowed animaeus to be with um mm, can't remember her name pretty name she has you guys know who i'm talking about animaeus wife um current you know doctore right so um yeah that's crazy oh, it's in the i can't remember her name i i'm trying to remember her name but i can't but it just kind of re reminds me of this the, you know that maybe that was titus's idea maybe he allowed that so certain things that titus allowed um his son just didn't allow you know what i mean so but he, he just does these conniving things to try to keep these guys in line when at the other hand if they find out about these things like he never thought of it like suppose they actually find out what these things how are they gonna feel about you dude they gonna want to kill you man and they're not gonna care it's like you killed my peoples i will stake my life on it to die you know what i'm saying i don't care if i die after but i'm taking you out so let's jump into this series, man. Season two. Let's go go see what they have prepared for us in episode one. Let's go. Yes. As I've stated before, man, that's how you open up a fucking season of TV show, man. That is how you do it. I wish most TV shows would write like this and just get you pumped up. I mean, sad. The 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 callbacks, the the just reminding you about season one of so many things that went down. The great writing, man, they did an awesome job in this season two episode one, vengeance. And I'm I'm not gonna lie. He's a, he's a great replacement, man. He he's he bringing it. He's bringing it. And the thing that I love the most about this show is the dialogue. The dialogue. Is you know. The dialogue is awesome. 
just the way how they talk, man. It's just, I wish, <laughs> wish we talk like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way how they, they say things. Instead of saying what we would say, they're saying something different. They're still speaking English, but the way how they put the words together is just so, it's just so, so eloquently violent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want to call it that, you know, so um so it's pretty it's pretty cool man it's pretty cool so oh man aurelia 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 she did an awesome job with both the, the with every scene that she got she forgave spartacus but then at the end like listen man i totally understand what you know what she said there at the end before she died i totally get it i get it <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because it seems like death just follows him. You know what I mean? Um, so I can understand, you know, obviously she forgave him for killing, for killing Varro. No, it wasn't really his fault. But then she kind of went back. She's like, listen, man, you sent me out there. You know what I'm saying? And they caught me, whatever, whatever, what went down. Don't go near my son. And I totally get it. Um, but Spartacus needs, he needs to calm down. And I'm glad that by the end of the episode, he got where everybody was coming from. I was agreeing with what Crixus was saying the whole time because he's like, you keep telling me to be cautious. And now you're doing things rashly. I do not like people, especially parents, especially parents that do this to their kids where, where it's like, do as I say, not as I do thing. Um, when it's not like an age thing, you get what I'm saying? So it's like you drinking in front of your, your, your kids, like drinking a beer in front of your kids and telling them you don't get to drink because you're not 20, you're not 21 yet. Uh, but I get to drink. You get what I'm saying? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like you showing them an example of something that's you, them doing something that is wrong that they've seen you done. That is wrong. And your thing is to tell them, do a, you're telling them, don't do this, but they see you doing it, right? So that's a situation I don't like when people are like that because, you know, in other words, these guys are looking to Spartacus, right? So there's, there's basically two factions. You got some guys that are looking to Crixus and Spartacus has some guys that are looking to him. And I think they should just unite. It, I don't care who's, nobody needs to be the leader. You get what I'm saying? The two of them can can both be the leader. It's not that big a deal. Um, you get what I'm saying? It's not it's not that big a deal. I don't think it's that big a deal to Crixus. I know Crixus just wants to find Nivea. So I'm all down for that. He needs to find Nivea. We, I need to know that Nivea is okay because it's like none of the slaves that leave the, you know what I'm saying? Remember what happened? Like the, the one that Nivea let go, she got be freaking killed in the arena in, um, in gods of the arena, right? In the prequel. So it just brought that memory back to me when I saw them bring in Aurelia. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just so it's heartbreaking because I thought, I didn't think she was going to, to die, you know? So it, it was just, you know, I just kind of like wished her farewell. And then to see her drag back in at the end of the episode, they, they, I don't know what they marked on her head and marked in her forehead. And, oh my God, that it, it was such a gruesome scene to see her like that. But in any case, man, it's just, this was an awesome episode, man. There's so much to go off of in this episode, but I don't want to make my review for too long. You know what I mean? But so many TV shows that I've watched and to see how they just belly up at the beginning of the season. And it's like, you don't know what direction they're going to take at the end of the first episode of the season. You get what I'm saying? Like they don't establish enough for you to be like, okay, I want to see the next episode. You're probably just watch gonna watch the next episode just because it's a series you've been watching for a while so you probably are going to watch a second episode but so many tv shows can learn from this you know what i'm saying of how to 
draw an audience in from the get-go if they've been waiting a long time for this to happen when i say a great job i'm sitting here thinking i put everything up against game of thrones and the reason why i do that is because i regard it as the greatest tv show to ever being made bar in season eight <laughs> you know what i'm saying i just put it on that level i think no other tv show came close to doing what game of thrones did the, the, um and it's not just on popularity i know they had a, a lot of source material you know from the books but they did an excellent job of portraying that on screen i'm not gonna lie it's like they picked the right actors even though you know some was was finicky but at the same time they still did a great job of portraying you know from what i know from the books even though i have not read the books over the course of reacting to it i learned a lot that was in the book from watching other videos um, and hearing other people talk about what's in the books versus what goes on in the show. So I know a little bit about it. So they do. They did an excellent job, except for the fact that they didn't have any source material to end the show. So season eight was trash, <laughs> you know. So in my opinion, when it comes on to writing, I think this is is very on par with 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 game of thrones as in just the dialogue of the show is just so awesome it's like they don't miss a beat you know what i mean it's like it just keeps you so engaged in what's going on as i said the relationship between spartacus and uh, i can't remember her name the the um the girl i can't remember her name so she's now the new love interest you know um it's kind of it's kind of hard to love someone because I think I think she is in love with him, but it's kind of hard. I think she doesn't mind him talking about his wife, you know, because I remember back in season one when she laid with him for the first time. She's like, pretend I am her. And I don't want her to be in that position where she's giving herself to a man that just can't get over his wife. And then you're telling him to pretend that I'm her like she's she loves him that much and wants to give herself to him that much you get what I'm saying so she's like I don't want to dishonor your wife and how you feel about your wife I just want you to know that I am here so it's cool and as I said it's a little bit easier to digest because it's a new actor that's playing Spartacus you know what I mean so you know that Spartacus and Lassie wouldn't do that unless he was ordered to you know what I mean? He wouldn't sleep with any other woman. So it was like, it's crazy. So Anamias came in, had a little bit of shine there, came in and warned them. Um, so it was good to see him. But Glaber is back. The man, <laughs> I don't know what I was calling him. I think I was calling him Glabius or Glabers, Glaberus. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was Glaber. But I, I know he's the Legatus, but he's not Legatus anymore, right? I think he's Praetor now. So so that plays into it they're back and of course i have to talk about this before i leave lucretia is alive how this is going the, the impact she's going to have when she remembers everything who knows how she's going to play it because she doesn't really have any power all of her power is gone she she's no more power no more powerful than a regular person on the street she doesn't have any status or anything she's just like you know what i mean like she, um Elithia is just gonna be playing with her you know what i mean because now that she knows that lucretia doesn't remember anything beyond the freaking drought that happened i mean you know but i think she's gonna time after time you know remember and begin to start having her memories brought back to her because it's, it's just about trauma it's just trauma and she she m must have lost a lot of blood too so that could mean that she has brain injury it could it could it um not necessarily like blunt trauma but um like not having you know what i'm saying like she might have recovered much of her blood by now but that could have could be what's causing the the memory loss the loss of so much blood and not enough oxygen going to the brain could cause you to not you know lose your memories and you know have a amnesia so um i'm looking forward to see what her impact is going to go but that was 
off the chain the way how they revealed her that was pretty cool so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always hope you guys are ready for season two of spartacus wish i could do another episode right now we'll jump right into it but i can't thank you guys so much and of course leave a like leave a comment in the comment section and of course subscribe if you're new support there by reacts and i'm out peace